Okay, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm doing this morning. Uh, I'm building a uh, kind of a towel cabinet to go up in the bathroom on the other side of that sideboard. I started out with an old, uh, this used to be a, a headboard for a bed and uh, had these pieces that went on up on either side of it. Uh, and I cut it in half, brought it together, put a, a piece of two by on the back side of it, and then I cut this piece. This is going to be the floor of my cabinet. This is going to sit like that, and then these are going to sit like this, and this will be what the, uh, the cabinet sits on. Uh, and then I'll build it up from there. I'm going to bolt that part together, take it upstairs, put it in place, and then I'll show you as we go along. Okay, I've got this bolted together, and this is going to be the foundation. I'm basically going to build my cabinet on top of that. I figured out a long time ago that it's better if you can build a cabinet in place. Uh, some, one time I built kitchen cabinets right in place. That worked out pretty well. I'm actually going to build this work removable so that we can pull it out and paint it after I get finished with it. And I'm just going to take it upstairs now and fit it and then uh, go from here. Okay, that's the basis for my cabinet sitting back right here. Baby actually wants this to come right up against the side of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a straight piece. I'm going to put a shelf there, bring it out so that it does come up right inside of here. And I'm going to set it back enough so that I've got some fancy work that I can put on there for trim once I get through with it. And then I'm going to put a door in the whole thing and I'll be cutting a, a front to fit on all that. Also, um, I think that'll work out just fine. Okay, here it is roughed out. Uh, I've got this nice little piece of oak. And I'm going to use in the front of here uh, to go in the front of that. And I'm going to make me a, a front for this thing, probably out of some oak, and then build a door that opens this way. I think about building two doors. Trish said she'd rather have one door that would open against that wall because it'd get it out of the way more. So what I'm going to do is go downstairs. I think I've got a piece of oak that I can cut to go here and shape it where it comes around this weird corner have the center be level so that I can mount my door right into that and then I'll, I'll need to build some doors. Okay this is done. It didn't come out, I didn't wind up doing it the way I was thinking about doing it, but my my thinking changed as I went along. Uh, and basically what I've done is I had an old window out back and I just made my door out of the old window. That works out real good. I still got to get a latch to keep the door closed, but other than that she's all set. Uh, this is all made where I can pull it out. It looks, it fits in there so snug. It looks kind of almost like it's made in there, but it's not. This is actually fit in there very snugly. Uh, I had to do a little fancy work around down here, but that came out just fine. And uh, once this gets where it'll close, and we get a coat of paint on it all, it'll look good. And I also put a little oak strip right here on the front of this plywood. And uh, we were just talking about doing something where those front of those plywood boards show just to smooth them around, make them not look so plywoody. But I'm gonna pull this out. Trish is gonna paint it while I go to town. Uh, so I guess that's the next thing to do is pop that thing out of there. But I just want to show off my uh, fancy shelf work for today. Y'all have a nice day. I just thought I'd do one more shot of it now that it's painted up. Trish is still painting the door, so I hadn't put the door back on there yet. But as soon as she does. Uh, We'll get the door back on it, and uh, I think it's looking good.